Hello everyone, welcome to Liberable and welcome to a new video here on Liberable BMW 220D which I'm driving today to show you guys a bit about this car and we are gonna see what it's like to drive pricing starts at around 820,000 rand for this 220D M Sport model you get M Sport wheels you get M interior, so this M seats over here, which you could adjust like that as well. Uh, no Harman Kardon sound here, you only get, um, what's the word of this thing now? Let's see if I can just come a bit down. A little bit, there we go. You get BMW Hi-Fi, which is actually quite decent, I'm not going to lie, it really gets the job done. But what's really impressive with this car is my current fuel consumption, as you can see. Over here, 5.4 liters per 100 kilometers. And before I tell you a bit more, the Liberable app is coming very soon. A bit disappointed with all the load shedding currently happening here in Cape Town. It's really caused a huge delay um, with Project 2 ZZ and also, oh dear, uh, Project 2 ZZ and also the project car that I am busy with. So it is quite upsetting to tell all of you to just be open the sunroof here a little to get some more light into the car so how do i feel about the uh, 220d uh, to tell all of you the truth it's really good probably one of the best um diesel cars currently on sale not the two series to be more specific but this 20D engine coupled with a 8-speed automatic transmission the performance is perfect the fuel consumption is astonishing the reliability is exceptional and also just in general it's a great car um, 220D, 320D, 520D, X320D anything with the 20D badge in BMW is you know, perfect to tell you all the truth and to me it really represents a a car that is so well balanced in its fuel consumption with its performance but also its fun and uniqueness to drive I personally am not the biggest fan of the 2 series, a specific 2 series I didn't like the M240i all that much I do like this 20D version better and that's purely because it's priced better it's not all-wheel drive and this one is flying through the barricades here yeah. oh yeah the barricades are open because it's low chaining now but yeah as you can see, Apple Car plays on. Let me see if I can play a song and quickly so we can hear the sound system quality. Thank you. Yeah, so sound system, really nice. You know, BMW mount the subwoofer underneath the seats, and that makes for a really nice sounding sound system. Sounds broken from the outside when you stand outside of the car. But sounds really clean and really nice on the inside. You don't actually need almond card in, um, in this car. Um, quite nice. Let's do a pull from a day here. Let's see how quick it gets to 120 kilometers per hour. Let's turn the start start off. I'm going to it in comfort mode and. Hmm. It's changing at about 4200 RPM. Sure, oh, it's quick. This is a quick car. I mean, it's the 20D. I didn't expect it to be that fast, but I mean, a certain speed, my foot down quickly. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is fantastic. <laughs> really fantastic. And the fuel consumption again 5.4 to the 100. So far I've gotten on this tank 728 kilometers. I've still got 128 kilometers left if I drive the car quite easily. So 
really, really impressed here with the 220 d I'm not gonna lie. The seat is very comfortable. I'm sat very nice. Well, the BMW badge is right between my chest, so it's dead center. It just feels... Honestly, this car feels lovely to drive. The suspension, as you... Oh, gosh. Ah, I'm in comfort. And it's gonna be a bit tough down this road. Oh, you know, this is my testing road that I like to test. Gosh, they were just bouncing around now. So, because of the low profile tires and these massive wheels, you are left with a bit jiggly suspension over terrain or over a rough road like this. Um, oh. Ah, you see you can I'm uh, making funny sounds now, but this can make you tired Very quickly. I just wish you could slack the suspension off a bit more. I wonder if it has adaptive damping I'm gonna put the car into sport mode and see what's what Has it become any worse or any better? Honestly, I can't tell if it became stiffer You'll feel now when the road gets rough again It does feel fidgety. I'm gonna go to comfort. Come on to comfort. Mm. Yeah, I don't think this has adaptive damping. But again, in a row, on a rough road like this, this car really throws you around. Um, it can be quite rough. Um, on bumpier road surfaces But again the performance of this 20D engine is really not anything you want to scoff at it's quite Part of wheel spin there and we off Honestly, I don't drive this car this hard all the time um, I drive it quite easily like 120 a lot of the time on the highway and on the highway is where this car really shines because it's really smooth and sulky um, Really comfortable on the highway But the minute the road again gets a bit rough, you know, the car does jiggle around quite a bit You've got lane keeping assist here, no adaptive cruise control uh, You've got blind spot warning as well on the mirrors over there All the necessary features you need in your 20D So this car gets a thumbs uh, about thumbs there for me. I'm not the biggest fan of the way the 20D, the 220D looks to be more specific um, I'm not the biggest fan of the design of this car. I much prefer the look of the older uh, older um, BMW 2 Series um, I think this car's design is going to take a bit of getting used to I wonder Again, I mean this performance Exceptional Oh, oh gosh Exceptional performance here. Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying those POV videos. I really enjoy making it. I can talk a lot more easier. I feel like I'm not under pressure when I have a camera focused on me the whole time. I can just speak and kind of enjoy the drive with you guys. Uh, air conditioning as well, set to 22 degrees. Very nice. And um, this isn't like the Ford, so you set on 22 and the thing blows like a hurricane still on your face. The air is nice and soft and I don't know, I can't explain it to you like there's a soft air coming out of the vents, not this harsh like kind of air blowing uh, on your face the whole time. Other features here, you have a wireless charging pad, two cup holders, a USB-C underneath the center console over here. Nice big door burn. The space at the back is quite okay, my brother. My two brothers were here in the back seat and they were quite fine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review on BMW's 220D. I certainly enjoyed doing this review for you guys. And tell me in the comments if you like this more easy going, like less shouting. Yeah, that so just talks easy peasy. If you want me to up the energy levels a bit, please tell me. I changed the tone around for this video to see how you guys feel about just a more calm Sunday drive. Not a really stressful one 
So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 2ZZ and other bold is coming soon to Liverpool. Ah, thank you, guys. Uh, low shading has really put a sour taste in everyone's mouth at the moment. People are hemorrhaging money. I'm losing money by the day because the projects won't get done, which means I can't get videos out and I can't get work uh, done. Um, it's a big problem, but we maintain focus and we move forward right that's all we have to do ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching be free be you liberable out